Hi class, just a quick video explaining weather maps and the highs and lows and what do these lines mean with the numbers on them and what do these highs and lows and these numbers mean for airflow and for weather in the, in the different areas on the map. So let's start over here with this H over Idaho and H means high pressure, high air pressure. High air pressure means sinking air. Sinking air means fair weather. Sunshiny weather, stable weather. It, it could be cold or it could be hot, but usually you've got pretty stable conditions and um, you don't have rain. An L means low air pressure. Low air pressure means rising air. Rising air means the air is rising, it's cooling, condensation occurs, you have cloud formation and precipitation formation. So the L a low pressure area is going to mean uh, cloudy, stormy weather, and H is going to mean sunny, fair weather. So what does this line around, let's look at this circle around the H. This line is what we call an isobar, and what it's doing is connecting points of equal air pressure. And that air pressure is 1,024 millibars, which the global average, usually say the average, is about 1,013. And so here we've got, it's a little higher than that. It's at 1024, right? So this is what we call a high air pressure area. And air moves from high air pressure to low air pressure. So what we're going to see is air moving out of this high pressure system towards this low pressure system. So the air is going to move. Here's 1024. It's going to go down to 1020 to 1016, to 1012, to 1008, um, and on down till it hits this low here um, of 992. So we've got air converging at the low, and so then it, it's forced to rise up. It rises, air cools, and it condenses, and we end up with stormy precipitation here. Um, so what we can see, we have a high here, so air is going to move away from that high, right, like this. And then we have a low here, and so air is going to be moving in to that low, like that. So the lines are what we call isobars, which are lines connecting points of equal air pressure. And air is going to move from high pressure to low pressure. Uh, one way to think about this that might help you is to imagine that this is like a topographic map. If you've ever looked at a topo map that shows mountains and valleys, you could think of this as an air pressure mountain, and this is an air pressure depression. Um, and so if you think of it as topography, and where would water flow on that topography? The water is going to flow from the mountain to the depression. Okay, another thing that's shown on this map is this red line with half circles and the blue line here with these triangles. Those are denoting fronts, and this is the development of a mid-latitude cyclone, which we will be talking about in the next chapter next week. So we'll explain more about that next week. All right, I hope that helps explain. Let me know if you have any questions.